Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at DJI Osmo Action 4. DJI releases their fourth action camera less than a year after the announcement of the Action 3. Osmo Action 4 is not necessarily a direct replacement of the Action 3. It is a higher-end action camera sitting above the Action 2 and Osmo Action 3. It promises better output and feature set whilst retaining all of the strengths of the previous generation. In this video we will take a look at the performance and the feature set of DJI Osmo Action 4 to find out whether you should consider getting one. The physical appearance of the Osmo Action 4 is almost identical to the Osmo Action 3. The only visible difference is the darker color and different lens cover. That is very positive because it means that most of the accessories are interchangeable. Action 4 is 7 cm wide and it weighs 145 grams. It is noticeably smaller than GoPro Hero 11 for example. The front side and the edges are rubberized which improves the grip and minimizes the damage in case of an impact. It is water resistant up to 18 meters which is 2 meters more than the Action 3 and 8 meters more than the GoPro. Overall it feels solid and sturdy. I don't have any complaints regarding the build quality. Magnetic mounting system has been carried over. This is one of my favorite usability features of the series because it is extremely convenient to use. Magnetic mounting system is compatible with standard finger mount so we can still use it with your action camera accessories. Action 4 still uses lens cover with a simple thread which is in my opinion the simplest and also the best solution. You will not be able to use Osmo Action 3 filters because the size of the thread is different but there is a good reason for that. And that brings us to the image quality and the lens. Osmo Action 4 uses a new 12 megapixel 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. That is a very large sensor by action camera standards. It is combined with an extremely wide lens with 155 degrees field of view and f2.8 aperture. This field of view is one of the most important aspects of the Action 4 and it largely determines whether it is the right choice for intended use. The widest setting, ultra wide, is very suitable for POE filming and mounted use. Wide and standard settings are available for point and shoot type of usage. Regarding the image quality, the first thing that I have to mention are the new sharpness and denoise settings. Sharpness setting is finally available and it makes a huge difference. The video quality is excellent with the low sharpness setting. It looks very natural and captures plenty of detail. There are no sharpening artifacts or similar defects. Personally, I only use low sharpness setting. You can try medium if you want to, but high is too over sharpened in my opinion. 12 megapixel resolution of the sensor means that it can't go beyond 4K. I wouldn't say that it is a disadvantage at this point, but 5.3K can go a bit further in terms of pure detail. 4K is available up to 120 frames per second as expected from a high-end action camera. Importantly, you will get the same image quality regardless of the frame rate setting. Also worth mentioning is that it can shoot in 4x3 format up to 4K 60p which is very useful for reframing or for filming for multiple platforms at the same time. You will get the best image quality in the ultra wide setting. White and standard are basically digitally cropped but they are still more than usable. I wouldn't hesitate to use either of them. I'm actually using the white setting most of the time. The colors are another strength of the Action 4. Unlike the latest GoPro cameras, DJI is not using local tone mapping which is a good decision at this point in my opinion. It captures very solid amount of dynamic range without producing artificial iPhone style HDR look. Dynamic range has been tweaked a lot on the Action 3 by the firmware updates and I can say that the Action 4 benefits greatly from those findings. d M is another novelty of the Osmo Action series. It is more flat than the D-Cine-like but it is not a real log profile which is a good thing. d log setting also supports 10-bit recording which probably helps capture more color information. Color grading is pretty simple and if you know what you are doing, d log M is the way to get the best possible all-round image quality out of the Action 4. One of the main benefits of that larger sensor should be the low-light performance. And it is. 
By action camera standards, it performs very well in the low light. There will still be some noise or loss of detail, but this footage is definitely more usable than GoPro footage for example. I would say that the difference is quite noticeable. There is also a low light image enhancement function which reduces the noise a little bit and improves the white balance. It is not available in ultra wide setting though. Claim the minimum focus distance is 40 cm. According to my testing, that is where you will indeed get the full sharpness. Importantly, it is perfectly usable for filming yourself without getting the beauty filter effect caused by minimum focus distance. There is also a portrait mode available, but to be honest, it makes very little difference. Regardless, Osmo Action 3 has very good close-up capabilities. Overall, I am very happy with the video quality. Larger sensors supported by sharpness settings provides very detailed and naturally looking video. It is complemented by very nice colors and reasonable approach to dynamic range, which results in very solid overall image quality. Osmo Action 4 features the third generation of Rocksteady stabilization introduced last year. As expected, it works very well. Static shots look like on a tripod and panning is super smooth. Walking or even running also looks really good, which is partially achieved by that field of view. It works great overall, as expected from a high-end action camera in 2023. An area where I can see a noticeable improvement is the low-light stabilization. That probably has something to do with the larger sensor. This time it works great even in very low light situations. Rocksteady Plus is also available, which is even more effective mode, but it introduces a large crop. Osmo Action 4 offers a horizon balancing up to 45 degrees, which means that you can roll the camera up to 45 degrees and still get a leveled horizon. A very important feature is the gyro data capture. Osmo Action 4 can do it in 4x3 mode up to 60p or in 16x9 in 100 or 120p. You need to turn the in-camera stabilization off to make it work. Then you can stabilize the video in free Gyroflow software. You will get fantastic smoothness this way with a lot smaller crop. This is a great feature that gives you a lot of flexibility so big thumbs up for implementing it. Osmo Action 4 can also take very nice 12 megapixel ultra wide stills. These capture a very solid amount of detail, indicating that the lens is indeed really good. It can also shoot RAWs with a solid amount of dynamic range. Both displays are carried over, and I am definitely not complaining about that. 2.25 inch back screen has a very high resolution at 326 ppi. It is very detailed and very color accurate by the standards of action camera displays. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9, which means that no space is wasted by the black bars if you shoot in 16 by 9. The front screen uses a 1.4 inch panel with the same 326 pixels per inch resolution. The image quality is basically the same as with the rear screen and therefore very good. Importantly, it is touch sensitive. Front screens are very convenient for vlogging, but this one can also be used to control almost everything. The user interface is also one of the best. It uses the usual swipe gestures and very well organized main menu. Everything is relatively easy to find. All of the items are sufficiently large, so it is fairly easy to operate in difficult conditions or even with gloves. I am generally very happy with the user interface. The user interface on the front screen is basically taken from Action 3, which means that it can control almost everything. That is very convenient for example for mounted use with restricted access to the main display. The physical controls follow the same philosophy, which means that all control elements are easy to access. That includes the doors that are relatively easy to open and close despite the water resistance. Osmo Action 4 uses the good old MIMO app, much like other DJI handheld devices. I think that it is still one of the best action camera apps. The user interface is very clean and everything is easy to find. All of the settings that are available in the camera are also available through the app. You can wirelessly download files from the camera to your smartphone and then also edit them. A very important thing is that you can use the display on the camera and the live view video feed in the MIMO app at the same time. 
As of July 2023, the GoPro remote control will still go black when you hit the recording button, so this is a big advantage for DJI. Despite having a larger sensor, the battery life is as good as with the Osmo Action 3. It uses a large 1770 mAh battery. I was able to get 140 minutes of 4K 25P video on a full charge, which is a great result and the best battery life of all action cameras on the market. The same applies to the overheating resistance. I was able to get pretty much unlimited recording even at 4K 60p. The camera was moderately warm after about 30 minutes, but definitely no drama. There are several different combo packages that you can get. I have an adventure combo, which adds two extra batteries, USB-C charger for three batteries, one extra quick release adapter and 1.5 meter extension rod. The camera is fully usable without the housing, but it acts as a protective device and it has an extra mounting point for vertical use. Especially if you have multiple quick release mounts permanently installed, attaching and detaching the camera is extremely fast and much more convenient than using the usual finger mount. Much like with both predecessors, the audio quality is excellent. It is way more than good enough for intended purposes, which is vlogging or just commenting on what is happening around you. As always, remember not to cover any of the microphones. Also worth mentioning is that it supports USB-C external microphones, so we don't have to use any proprietary adapters. To sum up, DJI Osmo Action 4 is a well-rounded device with very solid output and outstanding feature set. It benefits greatly from the lessons learned from the Osmo Action 3 and 2. It fixes pretty much all of the issues of the Action 3, including the dynamic range and close-up capabilities. Edit sharpness settings make a huge difference in terms of the detail and overall look of the video. Larger sensor further improves the low light performance. A very important aspect of the Action 4 is that very wide field of view, which is very suitable for POV filming, but possibly a little bit less suitable for point and shoot type of use. Pretty much all strengths of the Action 3, such as the battery life, bow displays, stabilization and overall robustness have been carried over. There isn't much that I can complain about this time, but I would say that the Osmo Action 4 is on the limit of what a 12 megapixel sensor can do in a modern action camera in terms of cropping and detail retention. A sensor with high resolution will probably be necessary for further improvement of the image quality. Despite that, DJI Osmo Action 4 is an excellent camera in pretty much every way, which means that I can only recommend it. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you have found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate our feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.